We all know we had a, a tough weekend. Baltimore Police Commissioner Michael Harrison speaking Tuesday on weekend gun violence in Baltimore. One of the victims, Baltimore businessman, 40-year-old Trevor White. Metro Crime Stoppers is offering an $8,000 reward for information in his murder. What we need is someone who would have heard or seen something or even someone who was told something about what happened in that case to call us right away. White was a co-owner of Remix, a soul food bar and grill in Little Italy and owned VBS Tax and Accounting. Police are not giving a lot of details about what they know. What we don't want to do is compromise the investigation. But we t we, what we can say is that we are following up on every piece of evidence, whether physical or circumstantial, and we're following every lead and we will continue to follow every lead to make sure justice is served and that we can bring families closure. Other weekend shootings happened on Kinsey Avenue where police found a 50-year-old man shot multiple times. A 39-year-old man suffered non-life-threatening injuries. And on Talbot Road, where a woman was gunned down near a bus stop. In all, police are investigating 11 shooting incidents from Friday through Sunday, including six homicides and five non-fatal shootings. The commissioner says 28 confirmed armed robberies, 15 street robberies, and seven carjackings are also under investigation. We're looking for video. We're looking for witnesses. We're looking for physical evidence. But we need more help, and it can only come from members of our community. According to the commissioner, police made arrests in three attempted murders, one robbery and 10 handgun violations. The most important message right now is that we need help from our community finding and arresting those individuals who not just committed the shootings, but committed those robberies as well. The commissioner also says the police department has increased patrols in high crime areas and detectives are looking for any possible links that might connect any of the crimes that have been committed. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.